everyone, how's life? And welcome to a very Disneyland Paris. We're very windy, Disneyland Paris. That person just about to be a little bit behind me. Lord have mercy. Anyway, it is raining at the moment, Disneyland Paris. And I am standing in front of the Sleeping Beauty Castle over there. It's currently looking not its best, I have to be honest, but that's because it's in process. It's in the process of returning back to its full beauty that bird just flew ahead of me from over my head and you probably didn't even see it but it was rather scary i think it's just so windy right now anyway um welcome to this video sorry that the entrance was a bit of a mess but today i want to take you to the two shops that you can find inside the castle here at disneyland paris because they do actually have two shops within the castle which is quite unique actually when it comes to disney parks worldwide and uh, the shops are really really cool they're unique they're really fun and i really want to take you around it so let's go now before we go into the castle I just wanted to show you the beautiful Main Street USA at this time of evening it's currently about 4 to 7 p.m. all the lights are up the Halloween lights the garlands over there they're so so beautiful and then on this side here of course we do have the castle the Chateau de la Belle au Bois Dormant which currently looks like I said not its best but very soon hopefully within the next month we should be able to see the final product our castle back to its full glory and I genuinely cannot wait anyway as I said we're gonna go up the castle go through it and have a look at the two shops and even though you might think because of the renovations currently they you know there might not be anything to see inside the castle you still can go inside the shops in there don't you worry and you can even see the dragon I believe just not from its regular entrance but hopefully that should all be sorted out soon as well I'm filming this in October of 2021 so if you're coming to Disneyland Paris from November onwards I'm pretty sure the castle should be fine like you know back to normal hopefully anyway right I think because it's raining a lot of people have taken shelter under the castle inside the castle and they're not, they're not actually doing anything they're just standing here waiting and hoping for the rain to stop which is fine but you know what the cold never bothered me anyway so i don't actually mind the rain i was just there in it in all this glory but yeah we are inside the castle now and i am so happy to be here just look at that beautiful ceiling over there and all the decorations now normally you can actually even go up the castle and there's a full-on attraction as well which like i said some of these things you can't do right now because it's under renovation but hopefully soon it should be back but the two shops are here so we've got one shop here and then the other one is on the other side both are very unique both sell very interesting and unique merchandise but i think we're going to start with this one because this is a christmas shop this is the famous christmas shop that everyone talks about when they come to disneyland paris because in this shop behind me is christmas all year round so if you're coming to disneyland paris anytime and you just want to get something christmasy a bauble an ornament just something that has to do with christmas this is the best place to come however this isn't the only place that is open christmas all year round there is actually another shop at the very start of Main Street when you first enter on your right hand side the Brixby Brothers one that also has a Christmas section that is there all year round so I don't think a lot of people know that but this isn't the only place you can get Christmas things all year round however this is the only place you can get Christmas ornaments inside the castle so we are gonna go in it now and see what they have to offer so I have just hand sanitized my hands there's always hand sanitizers by the entrances of shops here in Disneyland Paris so this just means that I feel safer touching things and I will definitely wash my hands at the end as well when I leave the shop but let's have a look at everything that is here starting from my right we have some postcards Joyeuse Fête these are 3.99 euros very cute from Disneyland Paris we've got the castle here as well and it looks beautiful uh, then we've got some oh magical Christmas design Paris I guess these are like candle holders maybe what does it say here photo for oh yeah the tea light candle holder that's it just didn't know what it was called in french down here we've got some more of these and some mini olafs these are cute like little olaf ornaments that's sweet disneyland paris exclusive and then on the left hand side here we start off with some of the many ornaments that they sell here at disneyland paris so we've got this cute mickey one it says noel on it this one's another one a bit more you know subtle again noel cute little mickeys uh, on it as well if you are wondering how much this is because i definitely am i'm curious right seven seven ninety nine euros that really isn't bad you know it's quite a plain ornament but some people would like that i would for sure if you don't want to go all out with the disney stuff this is a subtle way to show your appreciation for disney and then yeah these are more this is a mini one i presume 
so she's holding the end for Noel. And then down here, we've got some more candle holders. And again, these are quite subtle, some silver ones and some red ones. Oh yeah, and they do have some Remy ones as well, of course, because, you know, Remy, France, Paris, Ratatouille, they've got to have him. Moving on from this wonderful display, on the left here, we've got some more uh, candle holders, I want to say, which are very, very nice. I particularly like this one because it's obviously just a castle. And I love the castle here. It's my favorite castle. We're actually in it right now, obviously. This is 10.99 euros. And fun fact for you, this design of the castle is actually tattooed on my arm. So you can see it here. This was the very first tattoo that I ever got. And it's on my left uh, arm. And it's the same design as this here. So if I do this, it's very hard to show it to you, but um, you can kind of tell it's the outline of the castle in Disneyland Paris. Anyway, uh, as we move on here, we've got those of plushes, some Mickeys and Minis, baby Mickeys and Minis, Christmassy five. We've also got this one here, this Santa Mickey, and this is 29.99 euros. He does look cute. I also just love the decorations generally in this shop. It's very, very Christmassy five, obviously, and I love it. They also have very, very cute posters or artwork over there. There's Mickey, and I think, yeah, that's Minnie over there. It's just very cute so adorable down here we've got this awesome christmas train set which uh, my friend band and i had a look at this the other day and apparently it's about 150 euros which isn't actually too bad quite heavy though so i don't know how you'd take this home to be honest but it is it's awesome like i would 100 percent love to have this around uh, our christmas tree and then they have these cute snow gloves Disneyland Paris ones, these are made of plastic, but they're very cute, very reasonably priced as well, 5.99 euros, these would make very nice souvenirs or gifts for friends or family members as Chippendale on the back. And then they also have a different variety like this one here, so this is Chippendale, just a little bit different than the other one that I showed you earlier. And then on the back they have Mickey and Minnie, again, slightly different to the ones that I showed you here. So you've got options, always options. How cute is this little chimney situation here? And that wreath, the Christmas, oh, I feel like it's Christmas already. I mean, I'm feeling this in October, but honestly, I'm so excited for Christmas. And then here we've got that mini thing that I showed you earlier. Some baubles here. The Christmas set is here again. And then just the whole shop. I mean, I just want to show you the ceiling of the shop because it is beautiful. This place is gorgeous. It's not a very big shop, but it's a beautiful shop. So just come in here and have a look. Even if you're not planning on buying anything, just have a look at everything because, whoa, this shop is beautiful and magical. Right, they do have some more baubles here. Uh, they got so many stuff, honestly, I can't show you everything, but there's a, uh, uh, how much Notre Dame? Wow, what am I talking about? Uh, wow, Dalmatians one over here, very, very cute. We've got Lady and the Tramp here, uh, from the iconic scene. Very nice bauble here. And then down there, we've got the Aristocats. So a lot of the animal, Disney films are kind of uh, introduced here in some of these baubles here. As we move on over here, we've got some more baubles. This is the rose from Beauty and the Beast, of course. I know a lot of people absolutely adore this film, so this would make a lovely present for them. And it's 15.99 euros. And then we move on and over here, oh, again, there's more Beauty and the Beast stuff. So this is the Beauty and the Beast section, I would say. We've got the rose here. We've got Lumiere looking hilarious love him and then of course mrs uh, mrs potts and chip as well and then uh, cogsworth is up here all of these are very very cute in this middle section over here they've got an anna and elsa ornament from frozen 2 which is beautiful i really enjoy this shout out to my friend sophie she loves elsa we've got sleeping beauty herself aurora down here and these are really fun ornaments actually with the dresses kind of hanging there's an anna one and then we've got, oh my God, this is so lovely. So this Anna just chilling on a bauble. I love how they've designed this actually. It's like her dress is just, just, you know, chilling on this lovely white classic bauble. Very nice. And this is 13 euros, if you're wondering. As we make our way around, there's loads of plushes down here. So if you just want to buy a cute Winnie the Pooh, for instance, he is adorable. Happy holidays, it says on his jumper and he's got like a Santa hat. You can find them in the shop as well. They've also got Eeyore and Eeyore is also 
looking adorable. Oh my god, he makes this noise. I didn't expect it. This is fun. Very, very sweet. They've also got these Nutcracker Donalds, which I find hilarious. These are really, really fun. And these are, let me find the price. 13.99 euros i actually love these if i was still collecting plush dolls i would probably even buy it but i'm trying to be good i don't need anything else in my disney collection honestly and of course then there's little baby marie and she is actually adorable 20 euros i'm not even a fan of marie generally like aristocats is not a film that i love but she's really sweet and look at the bow on the back she is so cute honestly disney knows how to make you things lord have mercy and then we have some more ornaments here these are like lion king ones simba and nala we've got the rescuers up here that's very cute as well in this middle section over here not only do we have a phenomenal window stained glass window over there which like i said just come into the shop and look at things if, if, even if you're not planning to buy things because this shop is beautiful but we also have loads more ornaments here and these ones are a bit more classic looking so this is just like a mickey shaped bauble and it's got little stars on it this is cute i feel like if again you don't want to go all out with the christmas disney decorations you can get something like this which is like an uh, like, a, like a little nod to disney but it's not fully disney if you know what i mean they've got some more similar ones here down here as well so you know gold ones here little mickey head bauble here they've got the brothers from brave as well so merida's bear brothers and then on the other side of it here they've got loads of cute like disney parks merch so like this one here is adorable it's donald and daisy flying on dumbo i love this this one i adore and i might actually even buy one day maybe not today but one day i will so it's obviously the disneyland paris castle literally where we're in right now in an ornament and it is stunning it's literally gorgeous and then down here we've got a little teacup ornament that has alice chilling in it and again i find that really really cool very creative work over here they've got a little tinkerbell range so she's basically just chilling here looking cute this one's really nice i think this might just be like a candle holder actually you can put something here on top of it and um you can make it snow as well kind of <laughs> anyway it's just tinkerbell by a block of words that say or letters that say no l and then that's another one very similar literally i think the same design just in a different shape and then down here this one's probably my favorite actually because it's very similar to obviously what the film's like so she's just chilling and she actually like swings as well and this is an actual ornament and the price for this 12.99 euros so if you're a tinkerbell fan i feel like you would really enjoy this i mean i'm not even a tinkerbell fan and i really still like it like i think it's awesome the way they've done it and then there's a little purple range here as well so again just some very classic purple baubles some more tinkerbell stuff as well don't know what she's doing here maybe putting a star somewhere and then down here we've got some more ornaments of tinkerbell this one's quite cute too she's just holding a little mickey bauble here we've got some cute joyeux noel like this land paris chocolates i guess yeah oh this is an advent calendar actually so obviously it does have chocolates as well but it's meant to be an advent calendar very fun this is what it would look like when you open it and it's 20 euros like i would again buy this this, lo this looks very fun they're also selling these beautiful um mugs i want to say or like a teacup with mugs it is so lovely merry christmas it's their magical christmas with these wonderful baubles on it and then they have different designs on the two mugs that come with it if you're wondering the price for this one let me check 39.99 euros so rather expensive but you are getting quite a lot for that money they've got these i guess little shots shot glasses maybe and then they also sell those uh, stitch uh, biscuit tins which are very cute and again very good presents to buy these are eight euros sorry about the noise uh, you probably hear a lot of noise behind me but that's that's what it's like sometimes when you come shopping in Disneyland Paris and then here this is also like a sweet thing I believe it looks oh my god I did not expect that okay so it's a music box music tin but it also has some chocolates and more sweets in it let me see if I can find what it exactly is so it says uh, 26 biscuits so 26 shortbread biscuits and it's 29.99 euros and it all comes in this wonderful as you saw earlier display like I can't get over it, it actually 
it makes music. It's in the shape of a Christmas tree. It's got little cute, oh my god, Christmas like Disney ornaments on there. I can't, I can't. I'm gonna stop this because otherwise I'm gonna be tempted to buy it for no reason. And then right above those trees, we've got these cute, adorable Mickey Snowman plastic things. I genuinely don't know what they are, but I love them. They're adorable. Okay, it says, oh, I think so. It's like a chocolate thing, chocolate box perhaps? I'm not quite sure. They're very cute. It does say Disneyland Paris on the back, does it? Yes, Disneyland Paris. It's just adorable. I love it. I've seen them around everywhere on this trip. They're very new, so they've only just released them for 2021. And I think they're adorable. Then we get to this section over here, which is a lot of Paris-specific uh, Disney merch. So as you can see, we've got the Eiffel Tower there. It's lit up. Tinkerbell's putting a little bow on it. It's adorable. It does say Joyeux Noël. And Disneyland Paris on the bottom. And uh, they have different characters for this. So there's Bambi and Thumper. There's the classic Mickey and Minnie Mouse looking cute. They also have this one over here, which I think I really like. Oh, it's probably my favorite actually of all the ones. Because I don't really, as much as I love the Eiffel Tower look, this is so cute and classic. Again, it's just Mickey and Minnie chilling. It's a winter scene. They just buy these lamps, these old school looking lamps, and they're just there together. I think it's adorable. I love it. It is interesting to note though that the Mickey and Minnie one actually has the castle behind it. Uh, lit up castle. Obviously you can switch it on and off. There's a little switch on the bottom and then the Tinkerbell one has uh, the Eiffel Tower. Again, I personally prefer the castle because, I don't know, I just don't really need Eiffel Tower stuff in my life. I do love the Eiffel Tower, I just don't think um, it's something that I enjoy mixed with Disney too much, personally. Then we've got this very fun looking Goofy. No idea what he's doing. Oh yeah, okay, he's got like a Looks like he's got something in his hands, but yeah, I think it might be, this might light up as well. Let's just check. Oh, there it is. So he's trying to put the Christmas tree lights up and he looks hilarious. Kind of like what I do when I try to put my Christmas tree lights up because it's not, it's not an easy task, you know, but I'm going to turn this back off now and continue the journey. So up there, you've got some of the same ones as before. But you've also got Stitch here. Stitch is very well loved here in Disneyland Paris, so they never forget him. With every season, every range of new merch that comes out, Stitch will always be there some way, somehow. He's got, oh, that one's a broken bird actually. That's sad. It's meant to look like this, and then this one's clearly broken. Not sure what's happened there. But yeah, it is cute. Not for me though. I'm not the biggest Stitch fan personally. He's fun, but not my favorite character or anything. Then we've got Goofy holding some presents down here. And then when we go onto the right hand side here, these are slightly more classic looking again. So we've got just the Mickey shaped baubles here in red and green down here. And then my favorite thing actually. So you know what I, when I showed you that um, classic pink uh, Sleeping Beauty castle, this Land Paris castle earlier. This is the exact same design, like literally the exact same design in every single way. They've obviously just painted in a different color and made it look more Christmasified with the reds and the greens. And I think I actually prefer this because when it comes to Christmas, this is obviously a lot more Christmassy and I think it looks stunning. Right here, they do have some more chocolates and biscuits and sweets that you can buy either for yourself, your family, as presents, whatever your heart wishes or desires to. And then down here, yeah, some more, more of that basically very very cute they also do sell some stockings which is cute oh they're very soft it says dry or not noel on them and then these cute little baubles that also say dry or noel on them this one's got mickey on it i think these might be puzzles which is very very fun so when you open the baubles they're like plasticky rather than breakable and you can open them up as you can see you can open them here and inside it will be a little mini puzzle that you can do so it's just like a fun activity that you can do either yourself or with your family when you open your presents, I guess, on Christmas Day or before Christmas and the lead up to it. This is the Chip and Dale one. It's adorable and they do also have a mini one, which I think might be the most popular one here because they don't seem to have a lot of them left, whereas they do have quite a lot of Chip and Dale and quite a lot of Mickey. I enjoy this Alice in Wonderland set they've got going on here. I'm not even a big Alice in Wonderland fan, to be honest. Not one of my favorite Disney films, but this is cute. It's literally a plate. Just hanging, you can get like a little teacup. I just love the design of it. I love how minimalistic it is in terms of the colours they've used, just like black and black and red and white. Kind of like the cards. It's it's very nicely done. There's also this one here, Alice in Wonderland. Got the white rabbit. Loads of playing cards here. 
and then Alice over here as well as the Queen of Hearts. Also, fun fact, there's an offre magique for this one, so 4.99 euros instead of 9 euros, which is pretty amazing. One of the cutest things they sell here, even though I'm not the biggest Stitch fan to be honest, is this new plush. I mean, look at him. It's Stitch. He's got a little candy cane in his hand. And look at that, there's a little duck on his head. It's adorable. I love him. So cute. And then this section over here is adorable as well. So look at this. This is a baby Mickey. And on the back it says, Mon premier Noël, so my first Christmas. So if you're having a baby anytime soon in 2021, I think this would be a beautiful present for them, whether it's uh, for yourself or a friend, a family member. They also do have a thumper one over here, which is adorable, like so, so cute. Again, same, same kind of thing, same kind of idea on the back. My first Christmas. They also do sell these mini stockings of the same characters. So there's a Mickey one, a uh, thumper one, and also a mini one. These are so, so soft. And again, it's the same thing on the back. My first Christmas. So I have actually bought one of these for my friend Rebecca. Because she's expecting a child very soon. This month, in fact. This is the last section of the shop, basically, I would say. So these are some of the slightly smaller ornaments that you can buy. This Pluto one makes me laugh. He is sending a letter to Santa North Pole. And then there's Minnie down here as well with a present. They also do sell Forky. I love Forky, he's so cute. I know he's not to everyone's taste. Some people find him annoying, but I love the guy. I think he's so, so cute. And he's even cuter when he's got a Santa hat on. But that is basically the shop. I am gonna leave it now. Whoa, it's gone dark. I must have spent quite a bit of time in there. You can see Mesa USA is pretty much dark now and it looks like it's still raining more or less and it's windy. But yeah, that was it. Uh, La Boutique de, du Chateau is what the name of the shop is. So basically the boutique, the shop of the castle. Now we're going to go on to the next shop, which is right opposite it and show you what's in that one. So this next shop here, Merlin L'Enchanteur, is a bit more unique than the Christmas shop. It has definitely a lot more things that only are sold in this shop here. The entrance is obviously over here. I am gonna wash my hands. I literally just did it as I left the shop and I'm gonna do it again. And we are gonna go inside and see what this one has to offer. Things that they have here are generally a lot more expensive. It's like pricey things, things that are collectibles, which I like, I just can't afford most of them. So over here, when you first come in from that door, you can see loads of beautiful figurines of Beauty and the Beast. There's this little rose, rose gift, 59.99 euros. That one over there is a bit more elaborate. And I don't know if you can see the price, but that one is 349 euros. Can you see it? There you go. That is, that is expensive for just a rose, but it's just because of the details on it, I would say, and how they've done it. We've got Belle here for 49.99 euros. She looks great with that middle rose, 149 euros. There's options, basically, different prices, different prices ranges for different budgets as well these little mini roses are a little bit more affordable I would say but again they just have so many different varieties of roses so if you love Beauty and the Beast literally they've even got some like gold ones down here you can get some necklaces 49.99 euros over here like rings I want to say and then down here oh, these are so beautiful and I don't even like Beauty and the Beast like what is wrong with me for 29.99 euros you can get these lovely roses I guess maybe one of them maybe I don't know or 49.99 euros you can get that one over there you've got a Mrs. Potts and Chip down there for 59 euros and that big rose down there which is also a necklace I think it might just be a necklace actually it's just the way it's presented will you marry me oh it's 89.99 euros right next to it they do actually sell a lot of tiaras here which I'm not gonna lie when I thought I was gonna be coming to Disneyland Paris for my 30th birthday which happened in July of 2020 you know last year the year that no one really likes and obviously I couldn't come here because Disneyland Paris was closed I was hoping to get myself a little tiara from Disneyland Paris for my 30th birthday and obviously I never did but they are wonderful like look at this tiana one they are so intricate and beautiful and they've got again so many different styles depending on what you're looking for I mean look at that one over here they are so 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 cute I don't know if you can hear that noise but they actually do some engraving live in the shop for you so you can get things personalized here which is so so awesome very very talented and then here we've got some baubles actually just slightly more expensive baubles I want to say this is a very cute Dumbo one I'm so scared to break these so I don't really want to touch them 
But yeah, they've got just an angel one over there. That's not even really Disney, but it's cute. There's a Tinkerbell one down there made of glass. And that's kind of the counter area. This whole area, as you can see, is like where you would buy things from. Well, they have so many different styles, so many different characters. It's awesome. Right, here we've got some more amazing things such as, I don't even know if you can see it, but over here we've got a Disney Frozen plaque, I want to say. It's Elsa and her horse, 39.99 euros. Here we've got a Princeton the Frog one in a similar style. These are just collectibles. I don't think you can do anything with them. You just display them. But they're very cute. We've got that Mickey key necklace over there and that very bedazzled one over there as well that's 79 euros that one in the middle as you can see one cool thing that is actually very much a collectible are these ones over here that they kind of bring out for every season for every character some of them can be limited edition this one is obviously for halloween because i'm here in october so you've got a little pumpkin head they look gorgeous about 50 euros and you can't really do anything with them you just have to like display them but they are beautiful and that mickey as well is cute i don't know if you can see him he's there coming out of a pumpkin and he looks adorable down here we've got more fantasia mickey stuff fantasia brooch 119 19 euros sorry that's cool you can actually get the hat as well over there i mean there is literally a lot like a big selection of things for every day carrying on from that on the right hand side here we've got a little lion king section so different lion king characters that you can buy again necklaces that simba thing over there is quite cute but <laughs> The best thing that you find in the shop, Lord of Genuine Mercy. I'm just going to move until you can see it. Whoa! Can you see it? The literal castle, like the actual castle that we're in right now, you can buy it. And it's quite a big castle as well and like very detailed, very beautiful. The price, I'll give you five seconds to guess what it is before I show it to you. Are you ready? Are you ready to find out how much this costs? One, two, three. Whoa! That is 15,000 euros. That is a lot of money. I mean, 15,000. I can't get over it. So, of course, I will never ever buy this castle. I mean, I feel like even if I had the money, I still wouldn't spend it on this. I mean, it looks beautiful, but I'll just be happy coming to see it whenever I come over to Disneyland Paris. You can just come to the shop, say hi to it, and then leave. Coming on from that castle over here, we've got some non-Disney things, I think. Like, I don't think these are from any Disney movies, as far as I'm aware. Just some cute fish. And then here you can see some more of these special ones. So that's the Halloween one again, with the pumpkin. And then there's an apple one as well that's cool they're all 50 euros roughly and i think they look really really cool if you want to if that's your thing if you want to collect ones but like i said i collect way too many things so i can't add another expensive collection to my life that maleficent key over there as well seems to be i think oh that's limited edition for sure it says wow you are the lucky owner of the key number 231 so i don't know how many they have i think i don't know if it says but it's yeah oh right okay it's a limited edition of 250 copies i don't know if you can read that or not but that's pretty cool that's very limited and the key does look really nice so if you're a fan of maleficent you know spend 60 euros and get yourself this limited key again on my right hand side over here they've got some more baubles and this time you can find some just like disney ones classic d's some of them have mickey on top of them some of them are just plain but it is cool considering they're all obviously handmade made of glass i think they are quite cute ornaments to have this is a thumper one over here very cute as with any shop that you enter here at disneyland paris i always recommend looking up and looking at the ceiling and looking at all the cool stuff that might be just surrounding the shops like not even the merchandise they sell but just the design of the shops themselves can often be very very cool and worth checking out i mean look at here i don't even know what's going on here i guess this is like just some could it be i don't know is it snow white is it snow white's hut i mean i know we're like meant to be in merlin's uh was well, the shop's called merlin l'enchanteur so basically merlin the magician i want to say but that's the 10 year of the dragon as well so normally you would be able to see the dragon here actually i thought you still could but i'm guessing you can't oh well it's going to be open soon enough as we keep going here we have some pretty nice looking ornaments this is mickey and minnie and like a metal type uh, way i don't know 199 euros each that one's cool fantasia mickey he is holding a magical ball 
There's Tinkerbell as well, and then this one here. We've got like vases, I guess. It says Disneyland Paris on them. 149 euros. That one's 199 euro, but it's got the actual castle on it. It's quite big as well. I don't, I don't know if you can tell or not, but it's a big, big vase. And then here, very randomly, we've got Disneyland California's castle for 99 euros. And uh, as far as I've been told, they've never actually sold Disneyland Paris's castle here in this format. Only ever Disneyland California, which is random, but it's still cute. I do love the California castle. And then here we've got some more little ornaments of different characters. That Fantasia Mickey again is very cute. I love how they've displayed them, honestly. This place is like a little mini museum. And then we go back right, and this is again basically the full view of the shop more or less we came through that door over there there's also another entrance and another exit from here but yeah let's continue and see what's going on on this side here right these little medallions have also become quite popular in Disneyland Paris and you can get them for different rides different attractions different characters some of them can be limited edition obviously that's the Pirates one um, that's Tinkerbell but hilarious as you can see they're 15 euros each but also 15 euros for the support so for the stand which I personally think is a little bit ridiculous I mean if I were gonna buy one of these I would just buy the medallion and buy my own support somewhere else and then over here you've got some whoa 299 euros for that ring there's a mickey ring over here as well little subtle mickey ring for 169 euros 179 for that mickey hand ring i mean whoa <laughs> i feel like it is worth it if you want to really treat yourself like if you're here for a special birthday a special anniversary or something this could definitely be a cute shop to come to buy yourself some gifts and then those glasses over there on the back they're definitely a bit more affordable um, and I think you can actually get them customized like they can engrave something personalized for you on these right there at the shop at the main entrance the cast members will happily do that for you but yeah these are cute I like them maybe a bit more for children as well because they're a bit more child friendly with the cartoon characters on them and a bit more color right a lovely cast member is about to show me some awesome new ones that apparently were released today oh they're so cute Wow, so that's Chippendale. They are beautiful. They are so, so lovely. Love them. Thank you so much. Whilst we're here, I thought I'd show you some of the other ones that they have here as well. So as you can see, they've got Goofy. They've got Mickey and Minnie. I mean, this is so cute. Fantasia Mickey here. And as the lovely cast member showed us earlier, Chippendale are new. Literally released only today in the park. So as we continue, there's some more ones over here. And these, what are they? I don't really understand what's happening here. Inventive, in inventive. Oh, that's French. That's why. On va tivite, maybe. Um, triumph. I don't know what these are, to be honest. But they look cute. You can get Aladdin's lamp for 39 euros, or a different style of lamp for 29.99 euros. These are again those medallions that I showed you earlier, that were sold for 15 euros, and the stands are also 15 euros as supports. But you can see they've got different ones here. So that's the Cruella one. I guess these are Halloween ones. The Cheshire Cat as well. Um, McCrooge as well. Think about this. Just a lot going on here. And then over here we've got this gorgeous gorgeous wand 89 euros it's meant to be for frozen like an elsa wand i believe but it is beautiful like i i want this i basically want this if there was anything i could buy from this shop i think it would be this and i have no like need for this there's no use for this whatsoever i just think it looks gorgeous like look at that blue and the snowflakey star shape i just think it's beautiful it is stunning this is a very cute souvenir here that you can get these little christmas trees Ariba Christmas trees I want to say with these baubles and they're each they each have like a different thing on them so this is Beauty and the Beast this is Mrs. Potts we've got Olaf here oh this is so lovely and a beautiful present I would say right over here we've got these mini characters they're 19.99 euros each and they're cute you know they're adorable um, they're obviously not as expensive or elaborate as some of the other stuff that you can get here but if you want to buy something from here and you're into like glass figurines this could definitely be a cute little souvenir for you there's a mickey one here we've got tinkerbell goofy oh that's cute that's piglet down there and then this middle section over here oh this is displayed so wonderfully again you can get some small characters mickey's just chilling there 19.99 euros we've got fantasia mickey chippendale over there 49.99 euros 
that's sweet quite a few stitch ones because stitch is very popular here so this one's uh, stitch playing guitar that stitch just chilling there 24.99 euros i think i actually bought that for my friend once many many years ago and i got it engraved so personalized with her name on it and then there's pirate ship down there as well pirate ship pirate stitch is what i meant to say sorry <laughs> And randomly, you've also got not only Fantasia Mickey's hat for 49.99 euros, but also his actual hand, 39.99 euros. But that is basically it. I feel like we had a nice look at more or less everything that they sell here in the shop. Also, I love that little Merlin hat. Can you spot it just over there? Like I said, the decor of all these shops are phenomenal. Really, really nice. I'm gonna wash my hands very quickly again. We're gonna leave the shop and what an experience it has been oh my god so it looks like it's really full-on raining now like thunderstorms and everything i can hear thunderstorms and it's definitely a lot darker as well the camera's not doing it justice it's very dark now it's about quarter past 8 pm so it's obviously going to be dark i am going to end the video here because after i leave this place i'm probably just gonna have to rush out of the park get into a bus and head back into my hotel because the rain is quite quite a lot, quite a lot. And whilst I do have a hood, which I'm gonna put on now because I'm ready to leave. I don't have like an umbrella or anything waterproof, so it's gonna be a mess. May the Lord be with me. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like, maybe subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. Follow me on Instagram as well. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.